channel on this video I'm going to show you how to write a simple calculator app. The calculator app will work just like this. Uh, it will be asked to add uh, one number. Yeah, like let's say it will be 10. Then we'll be asked to add the second. Actually, it should be number, okay? So let's try, let's say five. And then there will be a list of operations uh, to choose from, uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So it's very, very simple. And uh, let's say plus. Okay, so 10 plus five is 15. Okay, so let's get begin. Okay, so we have to create a new, new program new project uh, we got uh, give a class name okay put a mine method and uh, some kind of welcome message so let's say uh, this is calculator up. Up. enter so yeah Let's start from the most important thing. So we'll have to define um, define our variables. So let's say it will be double. Double means it can be one, two, three, also 1.2, 1.3, you know, that kind of uh, values. Let's give a name first. Okay, we're just declaring the place for that uh, variable in here and uh, we declare a space for the second variable, okay? So we got first and second, okay? And uh, we'll be asking user later uh, to add some kind of, uh, you know, his choice. If it will be addi add addition, subtraction, multiplication or division. So it will have a one character let's say it will be just one character so user will be able to to add just one character so let's say it will be car and here we give a name of choice okay so it's the choice of the user okay well we'll be using the scanner in here like a user will have to write something so Whenever user has to write something, we have to define a scanner. I will give a name uh, SC. You can give any name you like. So in here, we're just declaring the scanner. Okay. System input, yeah. Enter. Next step we have to do is just to go along. You can see a small error because we should import the scanner from the system. You can click in here and input or just put import import Java util scanner. Okay, so let's import in here. Okay, you see in here scanner is imported now. Okay, but it's nowhere used for now. Okay, so now we have to do some like uh, some kind of uh, greeting and uh, you know ask we have to ask user to add one number and the second number so we just use sys out system out print line please enter first number okay okay and we'll ask user also to to add the second number that he'll be working with okay actually scanner will be working with it second and first Okay, so it's just a text. We have to give user opportunity to put something in. So we have to say what is first now, okay? We just declared there is a first, it's a double. We create a space for it, but we have to create it now. So the first will be now.
scanner yeah okay it's from scanner so sc this is the name of the scanner and as it is double next double and brackets yeah so first variable first values named first okay comes from scanner okay named sc and it is double okay so in here user will be able to put some crap in and we can do the same with the second one with the second value he will add you just need to change first into the second because we don't want to change the value of the first variable okay so second equals to sc next double enter okay now we have to give some options i will use the switch is is the easiest way later on i can show you how to create a graphic interface for it in the other video because i have only 15 minutes so let's go uh, we have to give them some opportunity like say what they will do in here so control copy paste and let's say for addition press plus okay next it will be for subtraction press minus next for yeah multiplication press star okay and the uh, last one will be division for division press this time okay so user now knows what he has to press and then um, now what we're gonna do we have to create the character okay so the letter this is the name of the single character is from here car choice sorry choice what the letter so he will put just one letter but it's the name of the choice so choice equals to of course what the user puts so scanner next whatever he puts because many options and uh, in case of character to be car at okay okay and let's start play with switch switch uh, it's based on the choice okay so whatever he put in here it will jump into here and based on this it will jump into the option okay so we open the switch sorry we open the switch so we have to close the switch again and uh, let's put tabulator so in case of uh, plus we have to write the uh, code for the we have to write a small code just for the what happens if he wants to add something okay so in here will be result is enter and uh, plus and it will be first plus second okay first 
class. Second. <sighs> okay. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. And uh, we want the program to stop and clean the buffer later on, so we just give a break. If it succeeded, break. And let's jump to the next option. Next case, because this is like case study. So in case of minus, in case of minus, what we have to do? We have to create, uh, of course, some rule. Okay. I will copy this as I have no time. Paste in here. So it looks the same. We just need to change this stuff into the minus. Now, multiplication and uh, division. Okay. So this stuff what's going to happen is another rule yeah okay it will be first divided by seconds and uh, last one in case of star Maybe this is uh, another one. Yeah. One, two, enter, enter, and here we just put star. Okay, so we can run this now and check if it's fine. It's not fine. Why is that? Because it should work. You know what was the error? Because if you want to write string then you put this stuff okay but if you just want to use character or other stuff you can't okay hoppa it's very common mistake and it's easy to correct Now we can compile. Okay, this is calculator up. Please enter first number. Let's say it will be 10. Enter second number, let's say it will be 10. And uh, let's say we want to multiply. Okay, 10 times 10 is 100.